Residents of just the Plateau State Capital walk up to an unpleasant situation on Saturday, the 23rd of October this year. Government and private properties estimated at about 75 billion naira by the state government were vandalized and stolen by hoodlums who hijacked the hashtag NSAS protest in the state. Many public structures were destroyed and looted between the 23rd to 24th of October an action which forced the government to impose a dog still down curfew that lasted for a few days before the situation was brought under control. Ezekiel Dachomo is a renowned Christian cleric in the state. He had been preaching against the acts of vandalism ever since the looters committed the crime. He took time during one of his crusades to again preach seriously against the looting, and at the end, over 2,000 persons who partook in the act returned back items stolen. He led them to the state government house to ask for forgiveness on their behalf. If the Bible says, take up the biggest loaf that is in your eyes. First, before you remove a little speck that is somebody's eyes. Responding on behalf of the government of Plato, the secretary to the state government, Danladi Atu, thanked the clergyman for appealing to the conscience of the perpetrators. He called on youths in the state to always reject incitement from enemies of progress. Who called David the man after my heart? You are, you are people after the heart of God. Amen. Because you have come to repent. God cherishes people who realize their mistake and come back to him. Don't see yourself as condemnable. No. God has not condemned any person. So we want to appreciate men of God that are standing in the gap for Plato. The goods returned include food items looted from various wire houses in the state. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss.